You cannot reason with a tiger when your head is in its mouth. Darkest Hour is directed by Joe Wright and starring Gary Oldman, Lily James, Kristen Scott Thomas, and Ben Mendelsohn. Before I go any further, I just want to say there will not be any plot spoilers in this review. This film depicts the early days of Prime Minister Winston Churchill, portrayed by Gary Oldman, as he takes over as Prime Minister of England in 1940, really at one of the most darkest and desperate points of World War II, particularly for that country. And this film deals with all of the political problems that he has to deal with, particularly at that time. This is not necessarily a biopic of Winston Churchill. This is more of a historical drama or political drama in many of its elements. Joe Wright is a director who is no stranger to doing period piece films. If you just look at his career, his best films and most well-known films are indeed period piece films. And he really strives in that area and he strives in this film as a director. He gives a lot of interesting uh, directorial flourishes to this film, uh, particularly when it comes to the camera work. I noticed he liked to use a lot of bird's eye view and kind of a lot of zooming out or panning out from that bird's eye view to give you a sense of perspective of what is happening uh, at the time, particularly in the area that he is showing. And it gives you a lot of sense of how important a lot of the decisions that are going on in this film really helped shape the world in the future. I mean, this is covering a very important time in our world's history, in our existence. 1940, World War II, things were not looking particularly good for, I guess you can say, the good guys, if you will. England was at its most desperate, and this film really shows the desperation, the tension, and I would say the terror that was going on at the time and a lot of the burden is placed particularly upon Winston Churchill and a lot of the politicians and I think that is what the film really depicts very well particularly within the character of Winston Churchill who is at the center of this film he is portrayed exquisitely by Gary Oldman, the best acting I have seen in a film all year. And what really helps is that the makeup effects on Gary Oldman are amazing as well. He is able to fully disappear into this character because he very much looks like a character. He looks something that is other than himself. You can still see a little Gary Oldman in there, especially with the way he walks and the way he talks. There's a little bit of his accent in there, but he is very much Winston Churchill in this film. He's given a lot of dialogue to work with. Um, Winston Churchill was someone who liked to talk a lot, <laughs> and this film definitely shows that. But he is not the only one who shines in this film. Ben Mendelsohn portrays uh, King George VI at the time, and he is really good in the scenes he is in. L Lily James' character I found to be rather interesting because she is almost our intro into this world. We're kind of almost uh, kind of viewing things from her perspective a little bit at times, but I would like to have seen them do a lot more with her character. That is one of the more negative aspects I have about the film is that I would like to have seen more of the characters around Winston Churchill do something or be explored in more character driven ways, particularly the ones that they've highlighted, the Ben Mendelsohn character, Lily James, and his wife portrayed by Kristen Scott Thomas. All of them gave great performances, but they don't have much to do in the film. It is very much uh, the Winston Churchill show. And it's not that the film suffers greatly because of that, because Gary Oldman carries the film perfectly. Also, why I don't think you need to be some type of expert about political history around that time, particularly for Great Britain, it would be nice to have some type of context about what is happening. I think that that would greatly help you going into this film, because there are a lot of people and a lot of things that are happening happening and a lot of kind of political uh, wording and things like that that I think are going to go over a lot of people's heads. And for someone like myself who is a big history buff, particularly World War II, I kind of was able to pick up on all those things rather easily, but maybe that would be difficult for someone who is not quite well versed in that particular area. Also, for those of you who are fans of kind of historical films or films that are based on history, I think you'll like it a lot as well. Also, you have to 
excuse the film for all of its kind of inaccuracies. When it comes to anything that is taken from history and adapted to another medium, they're not going to be able to get everything 100% accurate. So you have to give the film a lot of leeway when it comes to that. It's not a documentary, it's not a textbook or anything like that, but if you just kind of go with what the film gives you, I think you'll have a rather good time watching it. So with all that being said, I'm going to give this film a 4 out of 5 stars. The acting by Gary Oldman is amazing, the acting overall is rather strong, the direction is rather decent as well, and while I did have some problems with it, I think the film is still a good film. So that has been my review of Darkest Hour. If you like this video, please check out the other videos on my channel.